Two very good defenses. Mm -hmm. Which one's better? Uh, you look at the numbers, Rube. I, I, I can't get past these numbers. Total defense, Eagles numbers are better. Um, points allowed per game, they're the same. Eagles 17.8, Seattle 17.6. Run defense, uh, Seattle's just a little bit better. And, of course, the pass defense, Eagles better. But the Seattle unit has been playing together for so long. Yes, they've changed a few of the pieces, but the concept has worked year in and year out. This Eagles defense has come together quickly under new defensive coordinator, new direction, whole new scheme. But I'm going to give the Seahawks the edge just because of what they have on the back end of that defense, which allows the front seven guys to do so many different things and make their front seven that much better. The Eagles back end of the defense is capable of playing good games, but right now it's a patchwork back end of the defense. Uh, Nolan Carroll's coming back from a concussion. Leotis McKelvin is playing with a sore hamstring. Uh, of course, they lost Ron Brooks. Uh, then you're talking about a, a, a seventh-round draft pick, an undrafted guy, and a guy who was playing in the CFL, comprising the back end. Now, their safety tandem, I, I believe, is one of the best in the game. But Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor have been the best in the game for quite some time. So I've got to give the edge to the Seahawks defense.